This is 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 why Why this why that why this and not that why not why bother in our infinite search for knowledge why bestrides a landscape littered with what's where's and when's like a colossus part of the reason has to do with the difficulty of isolating why from the environment which we will now demonstrate why is the sky blue instantly we are caught up in the physics of optics and quantum chromodynamics why is off the hook before the fisherman gets a tug on his line? But why why? Why not when? The answer is staring us in the face. Unlike who, what, when and where, why asks for reasons. And for reasons all too well known, reason is almost entirely constructed of who, what, where and when. In math, this would make all the others a subset of why. Yet instinct tells us this cannot be so. For example, when is clearly distinct from why, having no need to address one's motives for being late. Pursued by vigilantes, interrogated by judges and dissected by academics, how why survives is a mystery. Yet why persists, flourishes even, as we look around us in wonder, out here in nature, we finally get our answer. Look, see a moose emerging from a mountain lake, standing before you, calm, majestic, incapable of speaking French. Your eyes lock as your mind churns with question and answer, working to make poetry of this moment. But in the eye of the moose, there is no why. This is why.